excited it started. <laughs> Seems to be a little bit of a fuel, fuel, fuel flow, fuel pressure issue. Uh, it could be that the, uh, the fuel is just too low on the ground. It might be higher up. That's going to be better. So now we're going to go and check to see if there are any leaks. And then we're going to, then we're going to try it again. Hopefully that's it. Yeah. All right. So should we do another little check up front? Let's see if any leaks or anything. It's clean and dry here. Yeah, let's see what we do. which is essentially the same as all the others. Uh, there was or is some little oil, potential oil leak somewhere, we need to find that. And we do know that the mechanical fuel pump is not working. So I had to fiddle with the electrical to get it running. Uh, apart from that, we're just gonna run it a little bit. Not too, not, don't wanna run it too hot either, but uh, we just wanna run it to see if we can find any potential uh, source for the oil leaks and so forth. Very minor, but but still, we're gonna check it. All right, that's number three. It's a lot cleaner than the first time, so I think it just needs to be run a little bit, and and uh, you know, but I need to troubleshoot 
probably need to replace the mechanical fuel pump, troubleshoot the backup alternator, figure out why it's not showing the percent power on the pad. It's reasonably quiet. Yeah, it's quiet, it's uh, pretty smooth. And Idle is a little rough, but like I said, it could be that it just needs to be run a little bit. Jets in the current range. That, and then we check the uh, oil pressure transducer, make sure you can put one. Yeah, calibrated. or calibrated correctly. Yeah, because 20 is a bit low. Yeah. All good.